In today's video, we're building a rooftop beach bar. So it's mid-July and I wanted to create a season-themed bar. Also, a subscriber called Rosemary did suggest this. If you want your idea featured, just subscribe and comment your suggestions. Behind me, you can see I've pre-constructed the base for this place. Also, feast your eyes on my picnic blanket looking outfit for today's video. Let's not waste any time. Let's get our coconuts on. Oh my god, why did I say that? So step one's always naming it. Beach bar, that will destroy all other beach bars uh why is it tagging anyway as you can see this is a pretty lame looking infrastructure i actually just put that sand there for the intro but i'm gonna do a quick sketch and show you where i want everything to be so what we have here is the actual bar here is going to be seating for the bar this here is going to be the actual beach and here is going to be more sea it makes perfect sense to me to start with the bar however i'm not going to add a basic wall because i was not born in a barn i'm going to actually add these round thick pillars because most beach bars are made out of bamboo if we just add a bunch of these along the back wall which was so satisfying doesn't it kind of look like bamboo and, and it's just something a little bit different to do and on the front i'm gonna do it a little bit more precisely <laughs> Um, if you're wondering, True Reese's, how are you meant to get any windows in here? Do not fear. We can just resize the pillars. And so let me just continue that kind of theme all the way around the build. And as you can see, with the whole like wall infrastructure in, it actually looks awesome. I know I could go into basic shapes and like add glass in there, start being all fancy. But the point of a beach bar is that it's kind of like the air is going through, like the Bahamas. If you hadn't guessed already, the floor is definitely going to be these planks. Part of me is wondering if I should go into structural and then try and like make a roof over these windows because I know they do have these giant rods <laughs> it just looks like a giant haystack to me but you know what? I'm gonna do it because I don't actually hate that and as my mother always says it's bad to be more detailed than less detailed okay this really is looking good now and I can't wait to get down to like the beach because you guys have been commenting build a beach for the longest time so I'm finally gonna do it so I think we should start off with the actual bar part this here is gonna be what we're using I'm not gonna to use marble though so i reckon some wood deck tiles looks pretty awesome the only thing is connecting them up is a right lark like you've got to really be quite precise with it the whole aim here is going to be a curved bar i just think these look much more like glorious you'd think i'm an amateur builder here i literally cannot do this all right i think that's even the reason i've done it this way facing this way is because i wanted you to see the stools from the outside i mean the obvious one would probably be to use this but i don't actually know if i'm i love that one I don't know why these ones, they're giving me beach, like with the wood at the bottom. <laughs> and the whole point was to be able to see it from the outside and you literally can't. Maybe if we went full Pirates of the Caribbean style. And no, I think that might be a safety hazard. We might get sued and then shut down. Before I lose the run of myself, I'm going to go into the new section and find a bunch of the new items. Because as you can see, look, this lifesaver preserver ring is literally perfect. We can have these on the outside, but we can also have them on the inside as like vintage decorations. Also, a life guard tower is going to be good for the beach later and i remember what i was going to do now i was going to make a surfboard sign now goodness knows how on earth i'm going to make this like i literally don't have a clue i mean we can attempt with basic cubes but why do i feel like my plans already come to flu fruition <laughs> me when i tried to use a big word i can't even say it i don't even know what fruition means i think it just means when your plan works and that like, comes through sorry i just have to turn my brightness up a bit here because it's literally 8 a.m and i i got up for you guys i didn't even snooze my alarm no i actually woke up before for my alarm, that's how impressive I am. So the obvious thing to do here would be to sketch like surf or something in wood, but why settle for boring old wood when you can go into lighting and do it with LED lights? We're probably going for the most generic name ever for a beach bar, the Surf Cafe. And if you're thinking Reese's, that looks a little bit wonky. I know it does, but truthfully, they're, they're normally homemade. So it would be a bit wonky, wouldn't it? That looks amazing. It turned out way better than I thought it would. And while we're on the topic of lighting, we might as well go and get some string light. The only thing I find with these is they're so bright. Do you guys get that as well? Not to mention they're literally a blimmin' pain to put down. It's so hard to get them right. Also, I haven't even added a roof to this joint and we've been building on it for so long. I feel like they'd have a Japanese style roof. Oh my gosh, you cannot deny that looks so cool. I also love how we're building it in the most random order ever. You might notice I'm going into storage and that's because the cubbies are literally perfect for what I'm about to do. So at a bar, what do they have? They have lots of drinks. Of course, it's only like lemonade and stuff and hot sauce nothing else and just for decoration's sake i've given it a nice ombre pattern and i kind of want this to be on show like at the front mm, i think that actually does look okay i guess two thousand dollars for some hot sauce are you kidding me people you've got to agree that the price
prices are a little bit high in Bloxburg. And then the best part about this bar is it can actually have seats either side. Although I absolutely hate tables like this where they have stools and nowhere to like put your knees under. They have this in my science lab at school and it's so annoying. Now I'm just going to add a couple of plates to sort of set the scene as if people have been eating here. Also I've added these cute little stars. I don't know why but that's enough time spent on a bar. We have actually spent so long on it. Next I'm going to do the kitchen. One of my favourite parts about going on holiday is going to these kinds of restaurants. Mainly because you can normally look into the kitchen and see them cooking and I've always thought that's so cool. And to be fair they actually normally do have pretty professional kitchens. I'm talking you guys know my biggest fear. The seven grand ovens but it's got to be done when you have a build like this hasn't it? It literally breaks my heart every time I have to use that. Oh my gosh guys help I'm so bad at doing counters. The most important appliance you guys guessed it is a blender. What do you order at a beach bar? Smoothies. Smoothies literally keep me alive. I'm not even joking. If you're curious my favorite is strawberry, banana and mango so if you guys ever want to make me a smoothie make it that. Look I've added ice cream as well because obviously if you're at a beach it's going to be hot because who goes to the beach in the rain? Crazy people. And I, the thing I love about these counters is there's loads of space underneath so yes we can put some like washing up towels. Also we're going to need plates is what I was going to say because have you ever looked into a restaurant's kitchen? They have so many plates. It's actually like quite a stressful place. Normally the chef is just shouting orders like chicken burger, surf burger. We should so call our signature burger the surf burger. Blimey I am proud of that for the kitchen. It looks a little bit insane but on the realistic front I have an idea for what to put here. On top of these we're going to put a block and this is going to be where the chefs place the food because you know they place it here then the waiters and the waitresses they go off and take it to the tables. As we come in I think would be the perfect place for the vending machines so my rules is you're not going to be allowed in if you're like wet straight out the sea however if you just want to come get like a Fanta or a Diet Coke or something then you can quickly get that from the entryway and that's actually a fun question what's your guys' favourite fizzy drink? You're not going to believe me here but I actually don't drink fizzy drinks. Now I'm not on some safe mission to save my teeth. It's just because I don't like them. But I mean, if you guys drink them, I ain't gonna judge you. Like, yesterday I ate a whole apple crumble. So, we are not, not, we're not all healthy. Anyway, here is the reception desk. So we've got a little MacBook on here. We've also got a little phone. So you can make bookings here or you can phone in from like down there. And it's high time, just before we put in the chairs, to go ahead and add in some decals so we can add some plants. And guys, you aren't ready for this. Are you ready for the big reveal? Three, two, one. I went mental, mental chicken oriental. I've got a beach sign. I've got another beach sign. We've got books. So I was thinking we could hang this beach sign from the front. We could obviously have the menu just like on the wall. And wait, that's not even a menu. <laughs> it says, welcome to the beach. Wish upon a starfish. Come out of your shell. Don't be afraid to get your feet wet. Change with the tide. Be a happy clam, not a crabby pants. Wow, that's very inspirational actually. Oh my gosh, just adding them on the outside. It looks a bit chaotic, but I really quite like it. So now it's my favourite part of any beach restaurant, adding the chairs. So I want it to be cosy. I want some seats to literally be benches. Now the one thing Bloxburg is missing is beach themed pillows. Like having like a little cute bird pillow. But I suppose the closest ones are daisies. Now you guys might think, Reese's, this looks a bit ugly. It's a bit out there. I do know it's out there, but I don't think it looks ugly. At the end of the day, this isn't like the Ritz kind of restaurant that you go to. Like have like royal music in the kitchen king show up. This is probably based in like Australia where like the loads of surfers and they're like yo mate can I come and get a surf burger please? Did any of you guys watch the show H2O Mermaid you know with Cleo, Emma and Ricky. This is basically the beach bar from that. I can't remember what it was called. So yeah if you couldn't already tell that is the vibe I'm going for. And see once it's got like a bit of decoration on it actually looks really pleasant. And then in fairness the rest of the tables are just going to be simple. And how rude of me I've literally forgotten to put napkins on all all of these, that is my one pet peeve in a restaurant. Actually, I have two. My first one is when there's no napkins and water on the table. It just really upsets me. And then second of all, when they try and take your order, but they're not writing it down, they're just remembering it. How are you meant to remember all that food? I'm also going to put some seashells on the tables. These are obviously decoration. Would not have unhygienic rotting seashells on here. I'm going to put these quite unique looking pendants over the bar. And this is actually quite a danger hazard having this many candles around. But you know, candles is actually such a good way to like make lighting 
I wonder if it adds to your build. Let me know in the comments. I'm, I don't think it does actually. And that is the actual main beach hut done. However, if you remember, we have a couple more errands to run down here. So if you remember, I said this part was going to be the sea and then this was going to be the beach. Ordinary beaches, I'm pretty sure don't have fences. However, since this is like a private beach, we're going to add some. And these are actually so cheap. 500 for that whole row. And this pathway coming down is going to lead, yes, to the beach. <laughs> Wonky alert. Oh, I hate when it does that. I told you I'm so bad at building. Anyway, it's going to lead to the beach. And then, of course, down here, we said there's going to be loads more decking. Now, it might look absolutely massive. But if you've ever been to, like, a beach restaurant, most of the seating's outside because people want to be in the sun. But we'll get to that in a minute. Right now, we're working on the actual, like, lounging part of the beach. We're going to kind of have the luxurious part of the beach over here. This part's going to be the cheap part. We'll put them in pairs of twos so we can put umbrellas in the middles. Or as we call them in England, brollies. I love all the words we have in England, but I get, like, concerned to use them in videos because I feel like nobody's going to know what they mean. So I know, obviously, candy in America is actually called sweets in England. The sidewalk is called pavement in England. A grocery store is called a supermarket. It's crazy. Like, everything is different. I love pink and yellow together. They look beautiful. Now, remember here I said was going to be the luxurious side. I'm actually going to build a second bar. And you know what I find so funny? When, like, other people, like Americans, try to do an English accent. I don't think I sound that English at all. But when they do it, they're like, hello, I am from England and my name is True Breezy. And I talk really, really posh. And I'm just like, is that what you really think we sound like? The luxurious area is literally getting their own cabana. And I love these massive umbrellas. Is there like sandcastles? Do they, are they still in the game? She sells seashells by the seashore. Seashells, seashells by the seashore. <laughs> it's actually hard. You guys try to do that at home right now. We'll add some sandcastles. And I find it so funny how they added the option to kick these down. Like that is encouraging bad behavior at the beach and like i said earlier it's mid-july had summer nights july it's literally halfway through summer so i thought i've got to get some of these summery builds out and what's the most summery tree we all know and love the palm trees of course i've got to make sure i save enough money to continue the tables a thousand a tree though wow i am so so impressed with this it literally looks amazing since this is technically the sea you can kind of tell it's like enclosed think there probably would be some floaties in here now we have literally the perfect little salary to work on the tables outside i honestly reckon the capacity of this like little resort almost is probably about like 200 people in this whole thing look how many seats there are and look how many are going to be down here you guys know i cannot resist doing outdoor seating without doing some booths and here we'll just have a bunch of casual seating <laughs> two grand a table though it's not cheap over here the very last thing i want to do for some scenic effect is to add these underwater lights then as you can see when it turns to night time it gives a really nice color i have one dollar <laughs> remaining which means the beach hut comes to an end and wow i forgot how good i looked <laughs> all right so here we are at the entrance and i just want to say this actually looks kind of realistic i feel like this is definitely like a holiday resort which you could just go visit i don't know why the floaties are like haunted over there it's actually kind of scary but anyway first things first we obviously have a whole row of seating all along here and then this side is where it gets more interesting we have a hot tub we have a bar with some lovely hot sauce. Oh my God. And also sand castles, which we can definitely not kick over. Oh, I feel so bad. And then of course the lifeguard tower. I've never actually sat up here. Oh my gosh, the view. I feel so powerful up here, like a goddess. I'm definitely gonna be the lifeguard, even though I've got no training, unless I'm secretly a master lifeguard in my past life. And then over here is basically outdoor seating, which is very nice. Look at the sun, very bright over here. And then the main part is obviously the actual beach bar. So as you walk in, we We've got some quick refreshments. You can take a quick <gasps> cheese string. I love these. Why isn't it letting me get a cheese string? Instead, we'll get a healthy apple. Uh, excuse me, where's all my food? Okay, apparently this place is a big scam. Over here is basically the main bar, which is actually a little bit dangerous. Like, you've got to be careful not to fall out. Over here, we've got some really cool seating. We've even got a swing, which just swings very, very softly. And then the last thing up here is the kitchen. So some of it's facing outwards for the aesthetics. But for the most part, we've got our sink so we can brush our moustache before we go and cook. 
Then somebody's like, hey, mate, can I have a surf espresso, please? I go and make them one. Everything is broken today. It's ruining all my role plays. Anyway, I'd go and I'd give it to them. And I'd be like, there you go, sir. And then I would jump out and go, wee. So there we have it, guys. That was me building a beach bar resort in Bloxburg. If you guys liked the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching this. And I'll see you all in the next one.